chance that coffee, Sarah. Yeah, in a minute. She knows how I'm fixed. When did she ask you for that coffee? I'll tell you, 25 minutes ago when she first sat down, I wonder she's gasping. Go on, get it now. No point. Yes, Boy so wonders onto it. We get quite a lot of customers coming in that are worried about the weight like yourself. And I thought, well, why don't we give them a selection? <sighs> Look, yes, come on, forget this in. jealousy. You can see really he's booked choice. his ideas up already. Yeah, yeah wouldn't you? Sarah, this trip to Italy is just a chance for him to get over the past. First rule of childcare. First rule of anything. You don't reward bad behaviour. These are quite mild. David has acted like a vile, no, no, nasty sh brat. And what's Uncle Stephen done? He's come here, he's patted him on the head, and he's given him his golden ticket. I mean, no wonder he's sucking up to the customers. One more week of uh, milk, no sugar, and he's out of here. Yes. And he's out of your hair as well, have you thought of that? I mean, he gets a job and you get some peas. And you get to stop in your own home. I mean, come on. That is a win-win situation, isn't it? I mean, look at us, working Saturdays. Do you want a Christmas present or what? Yeah, I bet David won't be working weekends in Milan. It's all about the work-life balance over there. Dream on! It'll be Stephen's little skivvy. First in to make the coffees, last out to make the course to Toronto. Yeah, responsibility. And who's proved they're responsible in our family? Who's raised a child, held down jobs? Where's our offer for a new life abroad? Sarah, he'll step out that door and they'll be jabbering, Mamma Mia, in his face, honking the horn. Right? And, and the pizzas, the rubbish over there. Have you seen the pizzas? Considering they invented them. You'll have no one to talk to, nowhere to go. It'll be a lonely beauty in a suit, all right? Eh? Releasing him into the wild, is it? He's going to have a home, he's going to have a job, he'll have an uncle there on standby, in case he starts chatting up some mafiosi daughter. <laughs> oh, loosen up, come on. You're as bad as Sarah. Look, if David can see that Stephen believes in him, he may start believing in himself, so be thankful for that. So my brother succeeded where I failed. What did he do? What are you talking about? Well, Stephen rides in on a white charger and suddenly my rebellious, infuriating son becomes a pussycat. Why? Because he's a man. Because he's rich, because he's successful. Look, does it matter why? Just enjoy it while you can. Come on. Oh, sweetheart, I know you've tried with David. I've tried. Bill tried. Yeah, and failed. Every one of us. Yes, well, will it do any harm for someone else to have a go? Hmm? Come on, kick your heels up. You deserve a break. Huh? I'm going to about that. It's not like Ryan or Michelle. Hey, Liz. Yeah, four o'clock. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I can see what we've got available on Monday. Stephen, my hey, man. What was it? Uh, root perm, cut and blow? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking for Mum. Ah, oh, she's out. Me dispiace. Hey, hey, you've been practicing. Well, yeah, of course I have. I'll be fluent by April. <laughs> anyway, I think she's in Rovers, so I'll bob across. Good man. Um, tea, coffee, herbal tea. Uh, I'm good, thanks. I'll just purchase that, okay? I um, I didn't know you were a gambling man. I'm not. So. What is David, a pet? Oh, what's this, a parlor game? Hmm, if David were a pet, what pet would he be? Uh, oh, a hedgehog. Oh, no, actually, that's too cute. A, um, a stickleback. A snake. Sarah, he's not the first kid I've recruited. Look, I know you think you're a good judge of character. Yeah, pretty good. And you manage businesses so you can manage a teenager, right? Right. I just, I don't have to say, I told you so. Don't you? But I will end up saying it if you stick with that attitude. <laughs> you missed your calling. You should have been a schoolmaster. Well, you can laugh if you like. You're going to have to sit on him, keep him busy. Shouldn't be too hard. Never leave him with money. Keep him away from good-looking women. You said that about me. And never, ever leave him with a computer. Oh, is that so? <sighs> I'll do all that. You'll be fine. Hey. Thanks for the heads up. Two foxy coats and an armchair. What's that? A country on Western song? <laughs> <laughs> What's she like? 
But she's one of Mel's mates. She'll be alright, Mel's. Oh, it's you. Abby, this is my twin, Daryl. Yeah, I know. I got the looks and the brains. Daryl, this is Abby. You don't look like a plod. And I do. I'm undercover. Alright. Oh, this is David from next door. Alright, David from next door. You ready? Uh, word of warning, girls. I won't fall for me too hard. I just won't be around to pick up the pieces. My heart or your teeth? Well, it'd be your heart, definitely. Why? Where are you going? Oh, did you have to ask? He's running away to join the circus. I'm heading up an international sales outfit. It's outdoor wear in Milan, Italy. As opposed to Milan Blackburn. <laughs> Come on, we're wasting valuable drinking time. I would invite them over, but the international salesman can't get served, yeah? Bless. Arrivederci, Anson. Ciao, Bella. All on your lonesome. Beth's upstairs. You've been drinking. Just high on life. You know, it's a shame you're in here babysitting, because me and Daz are off into town later. We know it's at large. Might be my last chance before I jet off. Don't hold your breath. Was that an idle threat, Sarah? No, just a word of advice. I wouldn't pack my suitcase just yet. Stephen will see sense before next week. How was that? Because I'll make him. You? Beth's got a better chance of spiking his plans. You've made it too obvious, Sarah. You're jealous. Your credibility is well blown. Besides, what are you going to say that's going to make him change his mind? Well? Well, I'm hardly going to tell you, am I? You're pathetic, you know that. You talk the talk, Sarah, but you can't walk the walk and Stephen spotted that straight up. All Stephen spotted was you sucking up to him. He looked at you with your dreary married life and your dreary little semi and thought, the most exciting thing she's ever done would get knocked up at 12 and even that were an accident. You've coasted the rest of your life, Sarah. You've had handouts from Mum, handouts from Jason, nice little cushy job from Gran. There's no fire in your belly, is there? There's nothing there worth employing. Right. What makes you think you're such a good bet? Because I know I am. I've got this job because I'm hungry for it. I deserve success. I mean, I, I don't just read about it. And I will trample on anybody that tries to stop me from taking that. Oh, I know that. Because we've all been on the receiving end of it. But you know, there's a saying. What doesn't kill us, makes us stronger. So you better watch your back, because I am stronger. And I'm just as hungry as you. Coming up next, the police.